Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing, of course, as Ching China. And that's, well, this is a very awkwardly placed Ching China, but with Mongolia, Outer Mongolia, as well as Inner Mongolia with us, the Northern Zili Klik looks not too bad. It doesn't look great, especially since we have Korea with us anyways. So, uh, just a few comments first. Uh, someone said I should rename some, some of my ships. Well, I just said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. I would probably rename them after towns, settlements, and stuff like that, regions of China. But what we already have, even though these ships might not be the best, they're actually already kind of personalized, which is really cool. The other task force that we have down here looks pretty personalized as well. So that leaves us with our two... New light cruisers, light cruiser one, which we shall call, I don't know, we'll just call it, um, Yantai, which is a little town down here, which I think would be very cool. Uh, you can just come right there, so we'll, we'll split you up anyways. And then you can be called, uh, Taiyuan. Taiwan. Taiyuan. Close enough, cool. Um, if I remember, I'll try to do that more and more and more. Uh, I will try to integrate. Maklik and Mongolia in this episode. I wonder how that's going to work with Mongolia as a puppet. Um, if anything, I could probably integrate Maklik pretty successfully. Regarding Mongolia, if they be break free, I might go to war with them, or I might just manually annex them using console commands, but then release them as a puppet in which I would integrate them eventually. It doesn't make sense for me to just integrate them unless it's like through an event. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And also, thank you to the subscriber who told me I didn't guard Wen's how? When's who? So, thank you. That's a wow. That's a coastal, mountainous province. Wow, that sounds terrible. But we're still at war with East Turkestan, which we are going to increase the amount of bombers. God, McLeek, guys, I love you. But at the end of the last episode, you just kept giving me so much love, and I love your love. I love love. But guys, chill. Like, man, come on, come on, man. Oh, we need to keep an eye on our fuel as well. That's not good. Connect to Dihua. Oh, they're out of manpower, which is good. Uh, we will go to the war with Liang Guang click this episode. So, I don't care what happens. We go to war with Japan, so be it. It doesn't matter. We beat them once, we'll beat them again. That's our game plan. Uh, with that in mind, though, we still need to integrate more provinces. And we, when we core Shaanxi, will we get more manpower? Because I could probably use a little bit more manpower, not going to lie. It's not a lot of manpower. I'm not even going to pay attention to that. 290,000. Do we not get core stuff? Reintegrate concessions. Um, it doesn't look like we do, which really kind of sucks. Hmm. Purchase foreign armaments. That's fun. And threaten German East Asia over treaty ports. Qing threatens our treaty ports. Now, I don't know. Because Germany isn't doing well, and if Germany would fall... Do I get them automatically? Kind of like how Russia was supposedly able to get Transamur, or rightful Outer Manchuria, which belongs to us. <sighs> I'm not really sure. Instead of waiting for decades, let's exploit their distraction in the war and mobilize troops on the border. They won't dare fight a couple, over a couple ports, right? I don't know. G Germany's gone to war with quite a few countries, including Poland. They are really willing to fight and die for literally, literally everyone. Um... I only have so much political power anyways. You know what? With McLeek, we're only fighting East Turkestan. It won't matter. With a victory over Japan and the Fengshu government, few dare question our undisputed rule over China. It is time for our loyal subjects in McLeek to submit to direct integration into our great nation. Uh, let's do that first just because we'll probably be successful at that. Oh, good. We got successful... Or we have successfully researched synthetic oil experiments. So now I can actually get more fuel. That's going to be very important, as well as rubber to produce planes. I need both. Because we're producing a lot of infrastructure, and that's great. But I need more than just infrastructure. I definitely need more than just infrastructure. I need more fuel, most notably. Factory-wise, we're doing pretty darn well. We're actually doing really, really well, except for light tanks, but no one cares about those. I need supplies. So I'm going to build up even more civilian factories. Because, yeah, I'll work on infrastructure over time, but this is going to be important to do as well. Good. Because I want to make a lot of naval bombers. I need to make a ton of planes. Look at all these divisions. Oh! Ooh. Okay! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah! 
Yeah, Ching, now that's a four letter word. Um, 28 divisions, nice. Mongolia. Perfect. You are a puppet. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, devs. Thank you very much. Now, if you think I should integrate them, let me know in the comments below. Because if you want me to, I obviously can't integrate them immediately. But I would, like, lower their autonomy by building factories, building infrastructure, building air bases and forts in Mongolia, so that I will integrate them. You know what? I probably will. That is rightful Chinese clay. That is, even though it says Mongolia, it's actually considered Outer Mongolia, so that's actually rightfully ours as well. In time, I shall annex them, but not right now. We have things to focus on. Um, right here. So, we got quite a few infantry divisions. Are any of them good? Well, that's not bad, actually. Uh, pull you off. Because right now, you guys, you are almost like these guys. That's not bad. Um, I will convert you to National Infantry Divisions. We have enough supplies. Totally fine. We have four of these divisions. We're going to throw them under this guy. And I don't remember where... Oh, you're over here. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a few more Infantry Divisions. Ten Infantry Divisions of 18 Combat with Infantry. That's not bad. I was thinking about putting them on Coast Guards. We'll probably be okay with, without doing that. I just want a lot of infantry. That'll be good. That is... That is, uh... Ten divisions. That's... Perfect. Perfect. Just... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That's... Flipping great. Um... I don't put you down there because the supply probably is pretty trash. Ah, spell four isn't terrible. But 24 of these guys at a time. I will be careful. Because Japan may attack, so I'm going to put you on the southern coast sort of area. Put you there just in case. Next up, we have Militia Divisions. I don't like Militia Divisions. They are trash, trash, trash. Oh, actually, why are you guarding the coast? You're regular infantry. You are going to come over here. Bueno. Oh, Wang. Good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to convert you to Coast Guards then. Thank you. And combat width, throw you right there. Awesome. And that almost makes up for everything that we just got. Great. Now we have some cavalry. These are 12 combat width. They're not bad. I will use them, though, in the same way that I use them in vanilla China. And that is as a mobile defense force in the rear. Or on really on the coast. Help contain potential naval invasions. Uh, you look pretty good. You're 19 combat with Good, go over there. We have, well, I guess more motorized stuff. You know what? Uh, I'm going to put you both under one guy. Because I'm going to keep one group in the north to meet any sort of Japanese threat. And then I'm going to move one in the south. Right there. Which, or I guess in the center since we have a southern army already. That's going to play... Uh, hopefully okay-ish. Artillery, uh, your cavalry general will throw you on there. The game's already lagging. I know it's 1942, but it's kind of weird that the game's already lagging this hard. Whatever. Um, Mabuching. Oh, you're... Oh. Uh, but you're also motorized and mechanized attack. That's okay. Maji Yuan. Yuan. Cool, cool. Ooh. Ma Hong Kui. Oh, this would actually combine... Oh, yeah. Use Ma Bufang. That's a good guy to use for this. That's actually that sets us up really, really well. I love that we just got that. And I can use Mongolia's divisions if we need to. Um beautiful. So this puts us in even a more powerful position, because now we have 257 factories. Good. We're making some fuel. We're making more civilian factories. We don't really need more military factories in the moment because we can't support those factories. Um we're gonna let our army come down south. Have a good time. And I'm going to begin another attack here. Don't want to forget about these guys. And I will train some of the divisions that we just got. Please, yeah, win, win. We want to finish this area off. Because this is a very, very annoying area to fight in. Very, very, very annoying. Um, Concerning the rest of this. With Qing China. I will go to war with Russia. I will go to war with uh, Japan. I want the rest of Outer Manchuria. area. And I'm thinking about... The Indo-Chinese Union as well. That sounds like a really good area for China to own. I don't know. Uh, oh, good. Advanced Heavy Hole. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
1942. I'm not going to go for modern cruiser hulls or that one. Let's get some more armor before I actually research these things. I want to make sure when we actually build them. Oh, there goes Warsaw, the Paris of the East during the Renaissance. I see. Okay. You know what? I guess I was wrong about you, Germany. Just a little bit. You you went to war with Poland. You liberated. What? Oh, no. Ugh. You know what? I know some people don't like it when I do this, but I'm going to just go ahead and just saying no to the border gore. Please, for the love of God. Please. Come on. You don't need White Ruthenia there. You don't need Ukraine there for some reason as well. That just don't make no sense. Oh. America looks kind of nice, and my cat is meowing at the door. Um, as we're going to watch us attempt to be successful here under Wang. I like Wang. Wang is a good guy. Uh, come on, guys. Keep winning. I know that... I, I didn't even use force attack. Oh, they're winning. They're winning. How much... Hold on. Before we stop that battle... Uh, we're doing about 0.8 damage of, in total against them. That's okay. We won. We got five more divisions out. Great. Great, great, great. If I were to attack using these six, it'd probably be a terrible idea. But this... If we do attack and we win... I mean, they're only militia divisions, even though there is a ton of them... We're still using a ton of planes. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of planes. Good. Build everything up. Build, build, build. We are China. We can build finally. Ooh. Oh, I need uh, rubber as well as aluminum. Anything else use aluminum that much? Transport planes, interwar bombers are kind of suffering. I need naval bombers. I need to research naval bombers too. Let's go ahead and grab. Yeah, we'll help out Austria. Two more. Good. Look at that fuel. We're not doing super well. Oh, we're not winning the battle here now, which isn't ideal. I mean, we are fighting into mountains. You really should be using mountaineers for this. So that's not really bueno. Um, I do need to raise my conscription level as well. We're on extensive conscription, but we're also on total mobilization, which isn't ideal. I need to do service by requirement, though. Actually... I can't do China United. I need to get take out that last faction in the south. Now, if this is the case, I'm going to have to attack immediately this way. If we can take Kashgar, that might be just enough for them to capitulate. Oh, good. Infantry expert. Awesome. 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 Are we winning? Yes, we are. Good. And it went, I want to do this first before I take out Liang, Gang, Klik, or that southern... Vanilla Guangxi clique um, region, just because the Japanese might, well, probably go to war with us. Which means I can raise my conscription level, which would be nice. Uh, oh, good. Advanced competing machine. I know I want to do that, but I need bombers, man. I Oh, we're already doing that. Okay, well. Uh, oh, actually, air. Oh, that's going to be important to do as well. But let's get some decryption. Military factories. I don't know what to do with you. Transport planes? I'm, I'm going to build more transport planes. Oh, I need to do more stuff. Oh, okay. They capitulated. Very nice. That's all they owned. Very, very nice. Um, I really don't want to hurt my rubber that much. What do we need? Planes? We're going to get more naval bombers. I guess for now, we have not just a tiny bit of steel. We're going to make a few more guns for now. Shouldn't hurt our steel output too much. Good. 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 I really have no way to invade Japan. I don't have enough planes. Um, you need a Burma. Guaranteeing the independence of the Indo-Chinese Union. Ah, so I could go to war with all Southeast Asia. And help take out the Bharatiya Commune as well. Oh, I take out all of this. Well, how long would that take? Um, I need to save my political power. How about for now? I'm going to put you down here like that. Spread you out so you're not too intrusive, I guess we'll say. Good. Threaten location cities. Mm. Oh, I get to integrate so many more provinces. Germany, you're just not doing well whatsoever. 
Well, can I afford a war with the Reich's Pact? Well, let's see. Well, they have... Well, actually, you're in... Oh, the Gation City's in the Entente. Um, Reich's Pact... Oh, I could probably afford a war with the Reich's Pact. They're probably not going to invade me. So, let's see. Threaten German East Asia over treaty ports. Actually, how many ships do they have first? I could probably naval invade them. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, but maybe I can. Yeah, they have more ships than they do divisions. That's kind of weird. But let's go ahead and threaten German East Asia over treaty ports. Give me my rightful Chinese clay, you bunch of German imperialists. Okay, come down here because we don't need these bad boys. Let me see real quick. Oh, we're going to need Macau as well. we got time, though. we got time. Wait, what was that? 2.47 political power a day? Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, wait. Do we get more manpower? Oh. I hope so. We get a little less than 6,000 a month. That's nice. I do definitely want these ports, though. You know what? We're going to put extra pressure on them. There you go. At least on Qingdao. Anywhere else. Integrate. Uh, we could probably at least do some of the smaller ones, like... Fujian? Fujian? Oh, it's on the coast. Yeah, well, I guess we, that's only 40. I think we can afford that. Anything else? Ah, there you go. The AUS declared war on the PSA. Here we long dong. Expand the Minutemen versus the Labor Relations Act. Nice. Uh, I think that... I think the American Union State's going to win, but the Germans have caved into our demands and vacated their port cities. Already, jubilant crowds across China are celebrating this great victory over imperialism. Amen. Absolutely amen. Actually, how strong are these divisions? Because if they're not that strong, well, they got a lot of manpower. India has a lot more strength than I imagined. I thought they were losing much worse than that. Indo-Chinese Union, uh, let's not get involved with that area just yet. And we got more ports. Well... One more port. Advanced Cruiser Hull. Advanced Heavy Hull Mark 1. Ooh, I need more naval XP. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, I want to make... If I'm going to make ships, they've got to be at least okay. This is what we might consider or call garbage. Oh, god dang it, guys, come on. You know what? In the meantime, make even more convoys for now. I'm going to buy more fuel so that... Um, no convoys, please. Ottoman Empire! Oh, we don't really talk about the Ottoman Empire. I've never played as the Ottoman Empire or Turkey before. Let's go ahead and train you guys. Both of you. Because I need a ton of fuel. Good. Our divisions are ready. Ooh, if I train my ships and do this at the same time, that's not exactly going to work out very w Okay, very well. Um... Threaten the location cities. Oh. Who the heck is the Central American Confederation? I'm going to just give a little bit more time so I can get a little bit more naval XP. Who are you? You're Social Democrats under Mr. Smiling Ramon Veleda Morales. Morales. You don't have a lot of manpower, even though you're going to war all the time. Uh, you got to play as trying to get all that sweet, sweet manpower. Um, yep, good, good, good. You are already a ticking attrition. All right, we got five. We got five naval XP, that's good enough. Go ahead and retreat home. Actually, if anything. Uh, at least we got the ports back. Oh, actually. As a reminder. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Now, did I miss anywhere else? I hope not. I really, really hope not. And hopefully these three divisions can hold off 14 enemies? Maybe? Probably not. Actually, probably not. If that's the case, throw up... Well, don't throw up, but, um, come up to the north. Come to the very far north. And you motorized rocket are in a pretty good spot up there. Um, mountains. Love it. We have plenty of, oh my goodness, get rid of this garbage. As you can probably tell, I like playing a little bit safe, so. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, throw on those guys. Motorized aren't super strong. They're just like infantry, but they're just more speedy boys. 
That'll be good. They'll need some time to train up. Uh, no. Edit National Cavalry Division. That's okay. Can I trade you for motorized artillery? You actually lose defense, but you get more breakthrough. Way more soft attack, which is kind of nice. Speed doesn't change. Actually, you're going to need more artillery, less infantry equipment, and more motorized. What is my motorized like? Not bad. We should be able to afford this. So we got horses and motorized artillery. And what's my support equipment like? Good enough for me to throw on field hospitals, because they're going to get hit to heck. And engineers. I might just convert all these eventually just to motorized, so. Do you want to leave that option out there? Very good, do that. And you know what? Screw it, we're going to war. You're guaranteed by the Empire of Japan. You are Chinese traitors. All you do is want to make an extra dollar and by forsaking the rest of China. Shame on you. Yep, you know what? Shame on you. And we are not going to leave until you are all under us. All of China dislikes you. Japan wants to go to war, so be it. We beat them once, we'll beat them again. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to get to Japan, but I, it doesn't matter. Now, I will ramp up production. Oh, Kingdom of... Well, Poland is gone again. Um, Ramp up production of these guys, because these are my Coast Guards, as well as some of this. It's my Coast Guard as well, but really... Pile up you. That'll be good. Zeely Infantry Divisions. It's not bad. 10 combat width. They don't need that much. Maybe engineers. Maybe artillery. But other than that, not too bad. This is what you get. When you do not think about everyone else in Asia or China. I gotta get rid of that, inf that infantry division. No, that tank division over here. It's only 5% strength. You know, just get... Go ahead and ha go to retirement. You've done a great job. Don't worry about it, Zhang. We're making plenty enough infantry as is. Oh, Wang. Looking pretty good. I mean, you like drugs, but you're a pretty good general, so I'm not going to say no to that. <sighs> they have about so many ships. I have how many ships? 3 plus 1 is 4. 14, 30. Oh, I could have, I could have remembered that much more easily. Much more easily. Um. Obviously, oh god, dang it, we need more steel. Um, where else can we build? 90%, that's pretty nice. 70%, that's pretty nice. Civilian factories? Absolutely. Oh, that's a terrible area to build. Whatever. Um, keep building that up there. And do that. Just gonna keep trading away. I need more goods. Especially steel. German Empire. I, I took cities off of your colony. And you're not gonna do anything about it. You're gonna like it. Austria, and then... A l oh, we took stuff from you, but we're still trading with you. I love the markets. Good. And how many have we lost? Five. That's pretty good. 5,000 versus 200. When did we kill Japanese people off? Oh, I mean, this is going to be a, a huge struggle down here. Uh, kill off the horses. Oh, and begin moving around divisions to help guard the ports. Because they're going to guard... They're going to attack more than just the ports. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, and don't forget, that's its own little province, too. Oh, look, an encirclement. Japan wanted an easy way in to find a way to attack us. Oh, integrating... Oh, what did that do? Integrating province. Oh, good. Oil processing. Nice. Fuel gain per oil. I like these, but these just take so long to do. Extraction actually could be very good. My sword state, thank you for uh, contributing to our war effort. Let's get some more extraction. There's so many things we need to do, but just we can't do it yet. Actually, Russia, is it in its own faction or the Entente? It's by itself, which is good. The Reich's Pact is looking more and more like modern-day Germany, at least the German part is. Um, what's the manpower of these guys? It's bad when the Union of Britain invades the low countries. Oh, you're almost out of manpower. Germany is still kicking with a lot of manpower. You guys have a lot of, uh, how about... Oh, Kaiser Karl, that's not looking good. Oh, LD, that's not looking good either. Oh, come on, guys. Just give me what I ask for. Don't tell me you can't ship me stuff. I know you can. Good. 
crush them. Crush them like the dogs that they are. They sell their own country up for a buck. Pathetic. Liberty Guangzi clique. How about nah? Beautiful. Now we're still now we're at war with Japan. I, Japan, go eat yourself. But we have China united at last. The dreams of a united China has been fulfilled. The century of humiliation has been reversed, and now we must char chart our path forward into this brave new world. We get a research slot. Yes, yes, yes. That's so good. I'm I, I'm really glad that actually that was. Oh, I missed a spot. Was its own peace deal. That's actually really really good for us. Now I've got armies, and I don't know what to do with them. I want to invade these guys. I really want to invade these guys. I, I don't know why. I mean, I should probably, honestly, look to invade Russia. But I need more divisions for that. Put, put more planes on there for now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, that's a case. Zhang. Coming back at me. Level 5. That's pretty good. How many divisions do these guys have? Um, well, let's divide you up. I'm not going to use the best army here just yet. Oh. Oh, you guys are doing that thing. That's right. Get rid of that. You guys get rid of that. Um, once we have, like, at least one field marshal, that is five armies of 24 divisions. Ooh, this is really uncomfortable doing this like this. Uh, don't do that. Then I will go to war with Russia. Where are you right now? Oh. Uh, That'll be good to put you there. Um, that's pretty much all the border we have with this faction, except you're up there. He's going to kill supply down south. They're going to throw all of you right there. I know it's a bad idea to do that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Kuming. Dali. Dali, something like that. Uh, so all you guys are busy. You guys are going to be the spare army that just kind of is like, check us out. We can push. Oh. Oh, that's what happened. I forgot about you guys. Uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't forget. I, I knew that this entire time. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Naval bombers. That's so good. Get more naval bombers. Oh, this is going to spell the end of the Japanese Navy. I for sure. Lower you down by... Oh, wait. Whoops. Uh, who took that? Who took those factories? I'll lower you by 10. Good. Get way more aluminum now. I don't care how much it costs me. We got more factories from southern China, so it, it's totally okay with me. Produce these out the wazoo, and then build more fighters as well. We're going to need them. And where are they going to invade? Oh, they're going to take Qing China. Or, pfft, what? I, I'm Qing China. They're going to take Taiwan. International mandate for the Chinese concessions. Who? Seize Macau. While we signed over the islands of Macau to Portugal centuries ago, our new power, combined with their current complex, making make it a launch a surprise attack on the territory and inviting prospect. Portugal refused to see the area to the legation cities, and with their current conflict, few expect them to put up any more than a token resistance. Hmm, I am feeling a little bold right now. Defi defend our legacy. This could put us at war with the Entente, and you know what I have to say to that? They can go eat a dick. You will not do imperialism in China anymore. Holy good god, I need more political power. Um, I'd rather threaten Macau than Legation Cities, even though Legation Cities are actually in the Entente. Uh, Macau. Uh, I'm going to tell you no. I'm going to put 23 divisions around. Wait, that's not Macau. Right there. Right there. Oh, you guys have some guys here, too. Can you be converted? No, you can't. You're garbage. I can't even get rid of you. Yeah, you guys go right there. You're fine up there. Um, I'm going to threaten them. I want Macau. This is right, quite literally rightful Chinese territory. And I don't know where the, the Japanese probably are sending divisions here. So we're going to get what... I don't know the Chinese name for this, but there's, we have a life cruiser there. Um. Oh, we got 43 transport planes. We're going to need to make some paratroopers as well. I need to research that. Interwar bombers, naval bombers, good. Good, good, good. This is going to work out very nicely for us. Oh, sounds like we're getting navally invaded in East China Sea. So be it. We shall invite them in. Oh, they're going to take out Taiwan. 
Which, honestly, let's be real here, they were going to take it anyways, so I'm not really disappointed. I mean, they can invade that as long as I get the main islands. You know, the home islands. They don't. They have a couple divisions. Beautiful. Portugal surrenders Macau. Excellent news. Portuguese forces, facing our overwhelming superiority, surrendered control of Macau soon after our attack began. We allowed them to return home un unmolested, and now the city is ours. More war support. More political power. This is doing amazing for us, and I still can't raise my conscription level. Enemy strength ratio of 60% or more compared to our army. How big is our army? I need more Chinese boys to work with us. We only have 200 divisions. Are you saying you don't have like 120? I guess I don't have 120. Yeah, actually that makes sense. Uh, if that's the case... Reduce you by 2. I'll need to save a little bit of manpower. Let's go down to 8 divisions at a time. That'll be okay. Um, quantity sometimes is better than quantity, even though not always. Now we're going to be extremely bold here, guys. Extremely, extremely, extremely bold. We're coming for the cities. Send half of you. This might put more pressure on them. I don't expect them to actually give them up. Because they're in the Entente, and they'll probably go down fighting. Which I'm totally okay with. Screw the Imperialists. This is rightfully China. And y'all better bend the knee, or we're going to have a big old problem here. You can't beat a modernizing, industrializing China, man. At least in Kaiserreich. I'm not sure about real-life China. Good. Um, how many more cities we got? We got Hong Kong as well down there. Oh, that's fine. Just send half, send everyone there. And then send half of them. This way. Oh, Hong Kong. We're gonna liberate Hong Kong, guys! Liberate Hong Kong. Oh, you got, you got kind of a nice portrait. You got some big ear, though. Mark Aichi Son Yong. They got up to nine divisions. Nice. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I forget, South China Sea? No. East China Sea? No. Over here, Yellow Sea? No. Sea of Japan? Nah, we ain't doing that either, Chief. No, no, no. Um, we're making more. That's good. That's really good. Uh, all but you. Begin fighting here. The range, kind of garbage. Up here. Oh, sounds like we're getting navally invaded again. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, bring it on, bozo. Can you beat two of my ten combat with divisions? Even though we're getting shelled, yeah, we got the same levels of army XP. We're dug in. We got three divisions down there now, son. Bring it on. And we have enough divisions around here. Yes, we're gonna threaten the legation cities now. You will not threaten China. A unified, a strong unified China under Puyi ever again. Never. And, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to go with limited exports because I need more resources. Ooh, we have more steel now. Thank you, Belgium. Uh, we don't need your hands here. Germany, that I might have taken up too much or not gotten rid of enough. Look at that. We don't need their steel imports anymore. We're almost out of our deficit of rubber as well. Or aluminum, I mean. Oh, my goodness, this is so good. Yeah, do that. Uh, how's supply down here? That's actually okay. Huh. Especially after that? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Just keep building more stuff. Now we must wait with abated breath. Will we annex the legation cities? Or we will we go to war with the Entente? In the meantime, I still can't raise my conscription level, which makes no sense whatsoever. But, we will begin the integration of Guangzhuan Concession, Waihei, uh, Qingdao, Macau. I'm out of political power. Awesome. Come on, come on, give him up, give him up. Come on, come on, appease me, appease Qing China. This is looking like a big boy, I love it. I, have, I do want to go down to war with these guys, though. Uh, maybe they maybe they said no. I'm going to say I'm going to assume they, they said no. Canada steps in. The Canadian government announced today that they would take any action necessary to protect their eastern interests, including military action. It appears that they've called our bluff. While the current war leaves them distracted, we are a young power and would be facing one of the world's most formidable navies. Ha, I'm going to treat you like the Japanese navy. Oh, look at that sassy Edward VIII. Hmm. They have a big old navy. 
But we treat them the same way as Japan. With a big middle finger. Back down. War will solve this. Go kill yourselves, boys. This is rightful territory. Immediately attack them. There is no peace for those who demand imperialism in China. And now I have to take out the uh, Entente. And you know what? Okay. I hope the Third International wins then. The fall of Hong Kong. Troops from the Qing Empire have captured the former British Crown colony of Hong Kong. After breaking through the Gin Drinkers line and landing on Hong Kong it island itself. The situation soon became untenable uh, for the defenders and the governor surrendered in person at the peninsula Hong Kong Hotel where the Qing have established their, their HQ. After a brief ceremony, the new Qing governor was installed to announce a new Hong Kong to the world free of Western colonialism. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, do Macau as well. Let's make sure we guard all these ports. And including Shanghai. We will end this when we take out Shanghai though. Good. Yeah, bring them all in. I don't care. Legation cities is gone. You can try to invade all you like. Japan, Entente, I don't care. You can't take out China. Maybe you could a hundred years ago. But right now, we're on the offensive. We're, we're going to be steamrolling into your cities in a long time, but not yet. But whatever. Ah, Third International. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, mm, sure, sure, hmm, okay, but that's all the time for that we have today, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, all of continental China is under us, including Mongolia, we're at war, unfortunately though, with the Japanese who need to be taught another lesson, we're at war with the Entente, who continues to claim for freedom, even though they are being absolute imperialists but anyways like i said i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link uh, in the description below and i will see you tomorrow when we will start convincing southeast asia to join us and begin bombing the hell out of the japanese navy thanks for watching and have a great day